a tape of a, a recounting of by another witness, another eyewitness. We're going to go to some tape that we're getting for our affiliate WABC in New York, where they interviewed an eyewitness who saw the second crash as it happened. Will the, we um, i say the hole takes about, looks like six, seven floors were taken out. And there's more oh, explosions there's, oh, right now. Hold on, people are running. Wait, hold, so on. hold on just a moment. We've got an explosion inside. The building's that... exploding right now. you got people running up the street. Okay. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on. Okay, just uh, put, put Winston on pause there for just a moment. Okay, while the he... whole building just exploded some more. The whole top part. Okay. The building's still intact. People are running up the street. Uh, am the... I still connected? Winston, this would support probably what Libby and you both said, that perhaps the fuselage was in the building that would cause a second explosion such as that. Well, that's what just happened then. That would, that certainly. Yeah, people are running like, um, I, we are getting word that perhaps. Okay, hold on. The, the people here are, everybody's panicking. Keep in mind that the first plane hit about 8.48 a.m., so there had to already be a number of people at work inside the World Trade Center. We're going to go right now bring in Rose Arce, one of our producers here at CNN. She's with us on the phone and has with her a number of people who have escaped the building. Rose. Yes, there's a huge crowd. I'd say about hundreds of people on the streets that come from south to north. I've been really thousands of people that have been running from inside these buildings. You know, it's a very heavily trafficked area in downtown the World Trade Center. Many of them were inside the building when they felt the explosion. And they say there was just pandemonium. There was no warning, no alarms, no anything. Everyone just raced from their desks, ran downstairs, and now there's a steady stream of folks running away from the building. Some people saying that they're fearing there'll be another explosion. And when they saw the second plane, convinced that this was dangerous, there's, there's just an absolute flood of folks escaping downtown Manhattan right now. And, Rose, do you have anybody with you that could um, talk about being inside the World Trade Center when this happened? Right now, honestly, there are scores of people that are literally running by me. There's debris on the, on the base of the building that has continued to fall, as, you know, even as, as far as a block away from the building. And what's happened is that everyone has, has, seems to have figured out that there's ongoing danger and there's just a stream of folks running as quickly as they can uptown away from, the, from this. Understandably. What about rescue efforts? I would imagine there's still a number of people inside those buildings. Well, right now what you see is there's, there's uh, trucks trying to get through and, and people have actually jumped from the crowd and are trying to help direct traffic to try to get emergency vehicles there. There's no traffic going in the other direction, but because of the flow of people, it looks like some emergency vehicles are actually having trouble getting to mm. the scene. And from where you're standing, is there any kind of command center, any place that people are being directed toward? Right now, what there is is there's a crush of, of emergency vehicles and rescue vehicles, but they don't seem to be quite organized in any direction. Um, there's fire department vehicles on the one side where you see the smoke coming out of the building. On the other hand, you see police, groups of police officers trying to organize the crowd in a more orderly fashion. I think there's, there seems to be some fear on their part that such a huge crowd of people might injure each other on the way, on the way out. All right, Rose Arce on the ground there near the World Trade Center. We continue our coverage live with the live pictures as we go. And we're